taxes. Hey you rusty freaks, just doing an impromptu off the top of my head skins video because I just wasted an hour or so with all kinds of headaches because of a skin thing. Um, I'll, I'll get to that. But first of all, I want to address this issue which I, again, I just muddled my way through it. And that is in the game, you know, when you load up Rust, you know, you see when there's new skins, so you check the item store. Well, it used to be that the graphics were great. It was just like the Steam graphics. And, you know, if you wanted to look at it more, even better, there was a link, like, around here, which would say, you know, go to. And I think, from memory, it went to the, it went to the Steam page for that item, like this. So, let's go that one. So, there. So, now I'm looking at it in the Steam store, which is way better, because you can look through all these and if it's a glowing item for example we'll show some in the dark and it, you can see it up close what it actually looks like in game so that's what i do so i'll just alt tab i'll just google new rust skins and so you go to the steam store the reason i do it like that is if you just go to steam or go to the community market i think it is yeah if you just go to community market you really can't find it i've tried it so many times like uh rust then how do you how do you get new skins how do you find the newest skins because it's see how it's listed it's either by quantity name or price I have searched other ways, but believe me, this is the easiest way to do it. See, new Rust skins. I doubt that will get it. Yeah, see, it's listing the game. Anyway, okay, so that's the way to quickly find it. Now, there are other, like, third-party sites, and I'd be very careful, especially gambling sites, that they are dodgy. But one I've always used is Steam.Tools. It's very easy to use. At the top, you just put your Steam ID. Now, that's another one that can be a pain in the ass. So, if in the old days, your Steam ID used to be up here. But if you want your actual Steam ID, the 17 digits, you go up the top left menu to Settings. And if you Google how to do this, you'll get all sorts of weird ways because it's changed. And then you go to, see, instead of anything here, just keep it on account because you'll lose it if you go to any other thing. Keep it on account and then the top right hand corner will be View Details. And it's not in any of this. It's literally just under your name there. See how it's got Paxis's account? And in, in grey font, it's got the Steam ID. That's your 17 digit Steam ID if you ever need to get that. Okay, so that's how you populate this one and you can do it for different games so make sure it's on Rust put in your 17 digit ID and then fetch it this the great thing about Steam tools is that you can change your currency fees dupes is like duplicates stack price you can choose to stack by how valuable something is and instead of having pages and pages of it, it'll show like see here there's an I've got two of these two of these so one where it's three. Anyway, you get that. Okay, so the reason for all of this is I was watching Popper Clutch's stream and he was talking about some app that lets you see leaderboard and well, you know, where are people in the leaderboard and blah 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 and it's got so many uh, and it's called Rust Steam Community Market Manager. MM dot app and yeah, I couldn't get it to work no matter what I was doing. I think it just took a while because I've got a lot of skins, or maybe I was on this thing here the t-shirt items that's just for searching for individual items make sure you have the trophy icon selected inventory leaderboard and then you just put in the last bit of the url of your steam i don't think you can use your steam id for this sorry it does work you just got to click on that orange tab there analyze inventory not hit enter if you cut and paste and then hit enter it doesn't work you have to actually click on that orange tab the last bit of your steam url and in my case it's old underscore man underscore paxis and give it a while especially if you do have a lot of skins yeah i'm embarrassed about that oh okay it looks like you have to click on that i'll go back just to show you so put in the end of your steam url and click on this analyze inventory and you wouldn't believe the depth that this goes into you've got statistics you've got market performance collection you've got all sorts of things i haven't even looked into it but i just wanted to show you guys that so 
main thing I wanted to show you was I would never buy a skin based on what it looks like in the game you know menu because it's it's really pixelated and gross and there's no link to go and look at it, it just goes in and out I would always just go to Google and Google new rust skins and that will literally take you to a page where all the new skins are and don't forget that you've got different sections like you might not be looking at them or like look at there's no Python. You've got all, limited, and general. Well, all doesn't have all either. It's, yeah, Steam has always been weird. So if you click on limited, that's showing you what's new this week, or this month, I should say. So we can look at the Python, or general. These are the what they're doing nowadays for these ones that are repeated. And it looks like you have to buy the graffiti pack. If you're interested, like that German guy does videos on skins and what he thinks of them, deeply looks at them. If you're interested what I think, um, I think they pretty much all suck and they all resemble previous skins. So there's really no need to get them unless you want to collect this graffiti series, which if you ever want to organize your base, um, you should do that. Uh, I don't like this series. I'm getting sidetracked here, but I do want to mention that the one I like is called the Scientific series. I got the Neon ones because I didn't know about the Scientific one, and I don't like Neon that much because, I mean, it's a good way to find your way around your base in the dark, but I, I get off on realism, so I got the all the Scientific ones. Uh, see, that's the Neon one. Yeah, here's one of the scientific ones. So you can get boxes like this in a series, and that's a great way to organize your base, because you can have weapons, tools, armor, yada, yada. Okay, so out of all of the new skins, I mean, these kind of look cool, but nothing special. Definitely not. There's, there's ones that look like that, that exist already, that are way, well, way better done. Same with the um, SMG. I mean, it's kind of nice, but there's way better ones that have that kind of green and there's a glowing one that has that green as well um, there's not that many you know semi-automatic pistols it's kind of neat yeah I think actually that that is really cool I'm not gonna spend money on it though I, all my money these days goes on on health stuff on medications and treatments and doctors and specialists um, Always make sure you check if it's a glow-in-the-dark one or not, because you might want that, and you might not want that. This one isn't glow-in-the-dark, even though there's a couple of deceiving pictures at the start, like that. That's just their way of presenting it. It's not a glow-in-the-dark item. Yeah, that's nice, but I don't think it's worth $3.45. Uh, the only thing I would buy, and even then, I wouldn't really use it in-game, because it's not my jam. I prefer realism. I don't think any door like that would exist in a post-apocalyptic world. But I think it'd be a good investment. I think one day that'll be worth more. Even though it's already so bloody expensive. Yeah, Face Punch have really, really <laughs> gotten onto it. Knowing that this is where they're going to make their money. Um, so yeah. Oh, and, and if you're collecting the series. If you're collecting all the gold and black series. It's called Black Gold. Uh, then you probably have to get this. It's very tempting, but not at $6.85. Um, I suppose if I'm going to talk more on skins, I'd say you got to get that um, Nomad outfit because it's, apart from the space suit one, it's the best for camouflage if you're wearing a red suit. And yeah, you're going to need to buy the graffiti pack if you want to spray the decals, I guess. All right, guys, that's all. So if you want to find your Steam ID, I just showed you uh, when, you're, when the new skins come out, don't bother looking at them in game. Always go to Google and Google new Rust skins so you can look at them in more detail. And if you're interested in third party programs, there's one called Steam Tools, which is great. And an amazing one that's even better by the look of it. But I haven't, keep in mind, I haven't tested it out yet. It might be that this is better for some things. Um, but this one seems to have a really cool leaderboard. I guess because you can look at other people's skins. But I'm assuming that's if your uh, Steam settings are on public. I, I'm pretty sure they all work that way. If you don't have your Steam settings, like your inventory on public, like if it's private, then I'm sure these third-party programs won't show it. All right, guys. Peace, love, and mung beans. Packs us out.
got up, gathered your goods, got some gonads, got after the goofy goon, gave Glory a good go. Talk to Haymaker. Instantly. Irk the idiot. Jackass. Out juke the jerk, out jab the joker, out jam the juice head. Okay. King Kong threw a karate kick that kind of caught you in the kisser. Loser. But that legend Lady Luck was lingering, left you with only a lovely little lump on your lip. Mint. But maybe mention you may use MMA, Mr. Muay Thai. Thank and poop. Knees are unnecessary. Over it. Okay, onwards. Please. You out punched the prick, out played the peasant, pushed proper pugnacity on the pinhead, left him praying for peace while Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Correctly. He got queasy, wanted to quit. Folks were quoted as quietly quipping he looked like a quirky quackish queen on Quailu. Right. Roughed up the rook, wrecked his reality, ruined his rep. Super. You socked the sucker, slammed the sally, secured the scuffle by successfully outstrapping the skirt. Tremendous. You took over the tiff, out tangled the tosser, tough titties on that trade, you twit, no truce. Unreal. Utterly. Violent. Very. Wonderful. Well, whatever. Exceptional. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Zebra? Zip it. <laughs>